I get really tired sometimes waiting on the technologies of man and the rules of man and all this crap in this world. Laws of man. Anyway, here's Bob in the Word. Um, okay, Seeking God. Shit. Seeking God. Syllable. Broken up into syllable. Seeking God. See, seeking God. Let's do this quick and get it done. See, the king is God, it's an I am that I am. See, God. Um, it is what you see. It is God. That which it is is king. See, God is king. You know, but this Jesus stuff. So let me just do that. Let me just wrap this up quick. So, okay, uh, 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Know ye not, you are the temple of God, the spirit of God dwells within you. How hard is this? How hard is this? The spirit of God dwells within you. 1 John 4.8. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. So there, the spirit of love is within you. Okay? Hello, love. Now, spread the word. Jesus. Look, it comes into fruition today. This language didn't exist. This language of slang. Listen to the words. I'll spread the words out. Jeez. Us. Jeez. Us. Seems like you don't want to go out to recess and, like, say, hey, Jesus, help us. Something that's out there. No, it's us. Justice. Just us. Okay, now, let's get on with it. Sorry about that. I get kind of angry sometimes. Fuels my compassion. Seeking God. Wake up to word. See, King, God. This letter K right here. See that? Language is, uh, uh, this is a symbol. Like, you see the, see the, see the women's room? And you see the men's room. This lady has a dress on, and it's got that. It's a symbol. I go in this room. She goes in that room. Okay. Now, symbol. It's symbol K. Pretty simple. See that right there? So a line with a, with a, with this is less than that. See, that's what it is right there. Ta-da! See, we can spread. We can this. a bun dance. Let's go dance. All right, shake your booty. But we can get all the way down to splitting letters up in the symbol. That is. This is what is here. See, this is what you see. S C E. This is you. This is what you see. You're looking at this. This is a mirror. This is a reflection. This is a wall. It's a wall in your mind where you can't accept forgiveness and and you're living in the regret of your past. All the things you did. You're lost in your past. Things you want to change. Projecting that into the wall of your mind. You can't accept the gift of, uh, you, don't, you haven't worked your faith yet. See, anxiety. Anxiety. What you fear in the future. See, fear exists to strengthen your faith. Forgiveness and faith will bring that wall down. See, you exist in the moment. It's a mirror, the reflection. Also, narcissism. Narcissus, the story of Narcissus. He fell uh, in love with his faith in, 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 uh, in the pool of water, the reflection. It's kind of like this world. You know, a lot of people are narcissistic, even good people, because they're, uh, they're seeking their value uh, by their opinions of others of themselves. And let me bounce a few ideas off of you, see what you think, see what you think, see what you think, see what you think. So that's narcissism. So you got to go into the pool. you got to go into the deeper Alice through the looking glass. See, this is the looking glass right here. See that right there? How all matter is a mirror. It's silver. It's a reflection. The world around is a reflection of yourself. So see. Once you see this, here, on the other side, Yes. T. Reflection. All this is infinitely greater than what you see here. Land of illusion. The illusion. Smoke and mirrors. So, that's what the K is. You know, it's back in verses, Acts 17, 24, and 25. is this. God who is Lord. See that? God who is Lord. Not Jesus. Jesus. I am not God. God. So it's not in houses made by the hands of man. Houses or temples made by the hands of man. See, God is at the building. And uh, Acts 17.25 just says, God is not worshipped by the hands of man. 
Give her all life. Give her breath. Give her all things. Not worship by the hands of man. As if he needed anything. See, that don't do it. So, seeking God. Once that K goes away, and you are seeing God. You know, this actually comes from a verse right there. It's kind of like this. A bee lands on a leaf that says belief. A plane flies out to sea that says it's plain to see. Romans 1.20 For the invisible presence of God shall manifest itself in this world, so it shall be clearly seen by those things that are made. So it shall be without a doubt, even his eternal power in God is. That's seeing God. You just got to get past the K. You know, it says here, uh, on this verse, it says, look, Luke 1, 2, 3, 1. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. What shall be added unto you? Bang. The infinite. And it's Luke. Luke, I am your father. One, two, three, one. See, it's about walking. See, I look at everyone as one in their own shoes. See, I look at a person's shoes, and I say, ah, so, that's Japanese. Those are your shoes, not my shoes. See, everyone walks this world in their own shoes. And I always say this. I am one. You are another one. Luke, one, two, three, one. You are an other to me as I am an other to you. See, my name is Bob. I am one. Therefore, I am Bob one. Let me spell that out for you. I, B, O, B, one. And the force be with you. So I'm talking about shoes. Well, First Corinthians 14.2, he just speaking in an unknown tongue, speaking not a man but unto God. Huh. I could be speaking in tongues. Shoes have tongues. Romans 1.19, for what may be known of God is manifest in them, for surely I have shewed it unto them. What am I walking on? My soul. And my shoes soul in soul. This is uh, 1 John 4, 16. He that walketh in love walketh in God, for God is love and God in him. See that? I shoot it unto you. For what we need to know of God is manifested in them. Specifically your shoes, soul in soul. Maybe I'm speaking in tongues, but shoes have tongues. I'll just send it there. Um, just try to see beyond this illusion. There is no K. There is no K. John 18.37 My kingdom is not of this world. I came into this, this world for but one reason. See, Jesus never claimed to be a king. Came into this world for but one reason, and that is to bear witness to the truth. Churches are lying. The King of Kings is saying right there, no kings. Okay, thank you very much.